And now at 5.30, continued unrest in Haiti, and Americans are advised to not travel to the country if they don't have to. Kidnappings are on the rise there, among other major safety concerns. CBS 4's Austin Carter is live at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, speaking with Americans who made their journey back to the States today. Austin, what are they saying? Hey, Elliot, well, actually, there were about three inbound flights today from Haiti's capital right here to FLL. We were able to catch up with a few passengers as they were making their way through a baggage claim. One of them told us that they decided to cut their trip to Haiti short just to make sure that they could get back here to America. This recent security alert from the U.S. Embassy in Haiti is urging all American citizens to strongly consider returning to the U.S. Haiti currently has a level four do not travel advisory, citing kidnappings, crime and civil unrest. The alert says kidnappings are widespread and victims often include U.S. citizens. Now is not the time to visit Haiti. Now is not the time to go visit people that you know. Um, it just isn't really worth it. Jennifer Blevins flying into Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood International Airport from Port-au-Prince Tuesday afternoon. Her trip took longer than usual due to safety concerns. To get here, I had to drive in the opposite direction a couple hours to take a small charter plane to get to Port-au-Prince and then take the flight here. I didn't used to do that. For other travelers arriving from Haiti, like Dwight Simmons, they were concerned that canceled flights to America could happen soon. We were planning to come back for my son's wedding, but we came back uh, a couple of days early because of uh, the threat of, you know, get, not be able to get out. Those in South Florida with family in Haiti are also feeling uneasy. Activist Marlene Bastian says Haitian Americans in our area now face hard travel decisions when emergencies happen. And they know not to uh, return, uh, but when you when your parents die, when your mom, people you haven't seen in years died, some of them you know are forced to go, but they know about the level of insecurity. Uh, there, we need to bring safety to the Haitian people first. And the U.S. Embassy in Haiti is remaining open to U.S. citizens, and there they are also rescheduling any visa appointments through Friday. That's the very latest here live at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. I'm Austin Carter, CBS 4 News.